I'm in trouble. I was like, what? I love cars and I love colors. And they asked me to sketch them something and they were really impressed. With me here is Agata, who is a member of uh, Azubi Car Project. Before the podcast, you told me that you're 16. Uh, how does such a young person get into making cars or designing cars? My family loves cars. So I, of course, I love cars too. And I didn't know that Škoda has a school, but then my brother recommended it mm -hmm. because that I love cars and I love colors. So a car painter and there's that available in Škoda school. Uh, when did you first he hear about the Azubi Car Project? I heard about this project in first grade in high school and I joined it in second grade in high school. Uh, how many team members are there in the team? There are about 29 uh, members, but I wouldn't say that everyone was working on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was your role in the project? My role was a designer of the car. What are some other roles uh, in the project? Uh, basically, almost all of the other professions in our school. Okay, that are involved in like uh, making cars. I yes. We have the car right behind us. Uh, what was your involvement in the project? What, what did you work on? I worked on designing the exterior and the interior. But of course, the team, we all did something on the exterior and interior a little bit too. Mm -hmm. And uh, was it your idea for the car or uh, was it someone else? Uh, the camper car, we wanted as a group to have a camper car because in Asubi there was not a camping car before. Uh, how is the car different from your original sketch? The car is different for, uh, with the color, of course, because we as a group, we decided to have a, the green at the bottom and white on the top. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I came with the idea that the car should have two colors, white on the top and other, co uh, other color on the bottom. Uh, was the green color your first option or did you have any other ideas? Uh, there was a lot of ideas for colors. My favorite was orange because to be honest, it's, it is a show car. But we as a group, we decided to go with the green one. Uh, since this is kind of a camper van, uh, I think the co color really fits. Um, uh, I see a lot of parts that are in front of the car or behind the car. Does it all fit inside? Yes, it does. It does fit all inside. Basically, you all put it in boxes, different... You just kind of pack it all together and then you nicely put it in the car and there's enough space for more stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can sleep in the car, work in the car. What was the original idea for the concept? The original idea was it's going to be like a moving office and a camping office pretty much. So there's uh, internet uh, in the car and there's um, a huge monitor on the passenger side. There's an iPad so you can work while uh, the other one drives. And for sleeping, you can basically sleep in the back. You can make the bed bigger by moving the seat from the driver's side and the other person can sleep either outside if it's nice or if it's really like bad weather you can sleep inside on the passenger seat the seat can go really really low mm -hmm. what else in the interior is uh, unique i'd say everything in the back is really unique because this is the first time something like this is in the Škoda Enyaq mm -hmm. why did you even decide uh, to put it in Škoda Enyaq because it's rather new, Škoda, and no one uh, has done um, something on the ENIAC before in the um, previous teams. So I think ENIAC was the best choice and it's fully electric. So it's like the fully electric new camping car. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at it when it's now finished and all ready, uh, would you choose a different car when you were doing the, if you were to do the project again? Definitely not. I think for me, ENIAC looks amazing. Even if it was just a normal ENIAC, I think ENIAC is just one of the best looking cars. So I definitely choose ENIAC again. 
Did you argue with your teammates about anything on the car or did you have any disagreements? We argued a lot about the color because there was a lot of color combination, but then we decided that the green one was the best one. And on the name, we didn't really argue, uh, but a lot of the names was already used. So the Rodiac was the best choice, but for me, it's always the Škoda sleeping bag. <laughs> I heard that you're the first person to ever get an internship out of this project. Uh, uh, do you remember the moment they told you that you've got the internship? Yes, it's a pretty funny story because I'm the first um, student in 10 years that was offered an internship. And it was when we had the first like, meeting with the designers and the first sketching with them. And they asked me to sketch them something and they were really impressed. And the chef designer, Oliver Stephanie, just said that if I want an internship. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember the moment they told you that you've got it? Yes, it's a really funny story again, because I was doing my thing. I was going to paint a car part. And then my head teacher came and said, you have to go to the principal's office. And I was really scared, what did I do? But uh, I did go there and there was my another head teacher. And he said that I'm in trouble. I was like, what? And when I, when I'm, when I gone to the principal's office, there was a principal and there was uh, the coordinator of design, uh, Mr. Haraschuk. Were you stoked? I was really. Uh, I couldn't believe that they were sitting there, and then they offered me if I really want the internship. Uh, do you know what you're gonna do on the internship? Uh, I was there already four mm -hmm. months and I helped with Asubi, of course, but then I learned in Photoshop from other designers. They helped me with um, how to really look at cars, how to draw them properly, and then just they just helped. But next year I'm going to go there and they said that they will make a plan for me. So I will have like a project my, of my own and start from like zero to 100%. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's um, beneficial for you uh, to work with the real team or in the real de the designing department of Škoda? I would say it is because it's something that not really everyone has the opportunity to get something like this. Uh, what do you want to do in the future? Uh, do you have a, like a dream job or dream project? Of course, my dream job is to be a designer of uh, any car company. And my biggest dream is probably to design a car that will go on the roads and everyone will see it and it's going to be all around the world. world. Well, congratulations on the Rodiac project and uh, to you and your team and uh, uh, best of luck in the future. Thank you very much. history of uh, Atsubi car project? This project started in uh, 2014, so now we have uh, nine years with uh, this project. Uh, what is so special about this project? Uh, is it always the same? Do always students come up with like a car idea that they, you know, put in action and, and build a car? Yeah, mostly we can say that uh, this is all the time the same, so the the students at first they have uh, some ideas and uh, then uh, they compare the ideas and and then they they choose uh, which project is uh, the best and and uh, and they started to to work uh, on it. And how many students have uh, gone through the project uh, over the years? This year we have uh, about uh, 20 students, uh, 29 students, and uh, we can say that uh, in this. Uh, uh, nine years, it was all together to uh, 100 students mm. or more. What is the benefit for the students? Do they get 
some special credit or is it uh, do they have any other benefits from it yeah they can they can feel uh, something like uh, team spirit at first they can uh, work together they can try how is it to work together how, how to how is it to to find the uh, right way how to decide uh, and uh, and of course they can they can work on the car they can mm. work with things with tools and and try it I assume uh, every student that works on the car is uh, in their first or second year, uh, so they're pretty much doing this uh, for the first time, you know, from scratch, building a car. Uh, is there any guidance from teachers or is there some kind of, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, educational part before? Um, yeah, we have a, a special uh, teacher so for uh, practical um, education and uh, they explain them everything what is necessary and they, they control them all the time when they work on the car. Mm -hmm. Was there any progress in terms of the process in the last 10 years? Has it changed? Uh, yes, uh, definitely, because we can choose uh, new technology from uh, Škoda company and we can uh, use them uh, for, for, for our project. So the, definitely there is a progress, of mm. course. Uh, is there something unique uh, to this project? Uh, yeah, I can say, for example, uh, the story of Agata. So she is a member of uh, our team now, and uh, she's uh, very good at uh, drawing and designing. And um, she uh, started work in a Škoda designing studio, and that was like a miracle because uh, she met with the with the head of designers, and he uh, chose that chose her. To the team, so that's that's a very great uh, story. Uh, well, I tried to get the information from her, and she told me that you know she she was kind of humble about it, and she told me that um, she doesn't really know why they chose her, and she mentioned she's good in drawing. But uh, do you think there is something else to? Uh, her Definitely, it, it 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 must be something else. And what is it? Is uh, her talent? So she is very talented, and uh, she's very how to say normal. Uh, normal girl. <laughs> well, congratulations and uh, in the future I hope uh, you will have more people like Agata working on the projects. Thank you very much, but I think that uh, what we need it's a good team and it's not necessary to be only Agata there, so we need a lot of uh, young people with uh, creativity and with uh, hard working. So, thank you.